Good morning guys and welcome to another day in the life of Pi. Coming at you from the last 24 hours in Brunei. Uh, I was just filming my intro, something bit me on the back of my neck, bloody hurts. So I think the red ants out here are pretty violent. That's a side note anyway, uh, still stinging like a bitch though, that really really hurt. So I'm on my way into town, uh, just got to walk down to the main road, flag down a bus and then get into the centre of uh, Brunei, BSB as it is uh, colloquially known. Uh, Going to go to the Sultan's Museum, uh, the museum, I'll tell you more about it when I get there but it's meant to be quite a cool museum and then the water village which you can go and kind of have a walk around and it's a village built on the river. So uh, let's get down to the main road, grab a bus and get to these attractions. You guys have picked up a bus, uh, literally just wait on the side of the road and you can get a bus. Uh, some on the bus into town, get into town, get to the museum. Guys, so we've arrived at the museum. Uh, this is the museum building, which is pretty cool. Um, and we're now going to venture inside and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Just at the entrance to the museum, you've got to take your shoes off, which I'm doing now. Shoes off, stick them in one of these handy little lockers. Uh, so you've got to take your shoes off and then go into the museum. It's completely free to enter, uh, and it's actually the Sultan's possessions, but they're the things he doesn't want in his house. Now, bear in mind that his house has over 6,000 rooms, uh, his palace, so, He's got a huge palace, and this is all the overflow of the stuff that he doesn't actually want in the palace. Uh, so let's go and check out the junk that he throws out. Guys, you aren't actually allowed to film in here, so this is about the only shot you're going to get of the entire museum. But I'll see if I can get away with filming a little bit. So guys, there's literally CCTV everywhere, and you cannot film at all. But this is a shot inside the museum, and it is pretty epic. The gifts this guy has received are insane. He's been given more gold and silver by countries from around the world than I've ever seen before. And this is the place where he puts all the stuff he doesn't want in his house. Look how beautiful that, that is. Pure silver with rubies encrusted on it. Mad. Check out the diamonds on that. It's got solid diamonds on the top. There's all the photos of the Sultan. He's pretty gangster looking. This museum is absolutely huge. Uh, I've been walking around for about half an hour now and I found a spot that I think I'm allowed to film in. Uh, and there's just exhibitions everywhere of all this cool stuff that the Sultan's owned. Uh, let's check it out some more. It's incredible. Sultan has a lot of possessions. He has been given aeroplanes, paintings, daggers, like statues of monuments, uh, tribal dress, uh, so many different gifts. Uh, and I've tried to show you a selection of them. You're definitely not allowed to film anywhere in the museum except the foyer. Um, so I may have just broken the law again. Whoops. Uh, luckily, no one from Brunei is going to see this until I'm well out of the country. Uh, but that's the tour of the museum done, guys. Really cool museum. If you're ever in, the, in Brunei, definitely come and check out the museum. The Sultan has got a lot of possessions. And considering he's got 6,000 rooms in his house, uh, there's probably about another 100 rooms in this museum. And uh, this is kind of all the overflow from his house. Uh, on good news, I didn't see any gifts from uh, the UK. So either we never give him any gifts, which I'm sure isn't true, or he keeps them all in his house, which is pretty nice to see. Um, just got to grab my things out of the locker, and then we'll go on to the water village. Hey guys, I'm just at the water's edge, about to jump on a boat to get over to the water village, which is directly behind me. One dollar uh, for one way, so let's jump on the boat and go. So a short boat ride over, and then you are in the water village. Everything is built on stilts. So if you look at the building behind me, you look at the buildings over there, absolutely everything is built on stilts in the middle of the water. So I've just come around here to have a walk around, so I'm just going to have a walk around and check it out. Okay, so all of these buildings are built on either concrete or wooden stilts and it's really incredible. It's a massive village. I've been walking around it for about 10 minutes now and I've 
barely even kind of scratch the surface. So I'm going to carry on walking this way. I'm actually heading towards, you can just about see the top of the gold bit, uh, which is the mosque. Guys, this is really cool. All of the houses have got like air conditioning and satellite TV, but they're built on stilts in the middle of the water. It is insane. Here's the mosque that's on the other side of the water village. And I'm fairly sure that's built on solid ground. However, what isn't built on solid ground is the fire department. There's the fire department. And you can just about see the stilts that the fire department building is built on. Ultimately cool, guys. So clearly this house right here is where all of the rubbish collects because there is a mountain of rubbish under here. It's piled up so much that it's created its own little landmass. Wow, that's pretty disgusting. Guys, just about finished up walking around the uh, water village. It's pretty amazing. Uh, and I think you can get a lift back from pretty much any jetty. So I've just walked to a different jetty uh, and I've got a boatman coming towards me. Uh, back, yeah. Uh, yeah, boatman coming towards me to pick me up. So let's get the boat back. This guy's now on the boat back. Uh, you can see the boat traveling on behind me. I think this might be quite, a, quite an adventure because we've got to kind of navigate around all of the buildings. Uh, so let's check it out. Guys, back in dry land, that was awesome. That was incredible to go and see, and I think it's the best thing to do in Brunei. Uh, the boat ride across was hilariously fun. The boat ride back was loads of fun. Um, the floating water village is just a really cool thing to see. It's amazing that people kind of live on stilts in the middle of the river. Um, and it was just awesome. Like, I love that so much. Definitely my favorite thing to do in Brunei, and um, it's made Brunei a hell of a lot better because it was getting a little bit tiring but that and the museum this morning has been wicked um i'm really hungry now so i need to go and eat and the only place that i can eat is back in the hostel so i'm gonna go and get uh, some takeout food from some restaurant somewhere jump in a bus get back to the hostel and uh chill out there this afternoon then this evening hopefully can get back out to the night market the public transport stops at 6 p.m so might be a little bit stuck so let's just uh, wait and see so guys, just as I was walking around town, stumbled across this Chinese temple. Um, it's quite a small little Chinese temple, but it's uh, pretty cute and cool. I just got given uh, an incense stick by the guy inside the Chinese temple, so I can put it in here and make a wish. And there we go. Just made my wish. There's my incense stick burning. I'm not going to tell you what I wish for, but... Uh, that is pretty nice. Really nice smell of incense actually. Beautiful smell. Guys, so it's now evening time and the uh, gong went off, meaning that it's time that we can eat. And we've come down to the night market to grab some food. So I met a couple of guys from the hostel um, and we actually got a boat down here. The boat ride was pretty sick. Check this out. Uh, the boat driver was basically texting whilst driving. Got beautiful views of uh, the river. Uh, and now we're gonna walk around the night market. So you can pick up like noodles for a dollar, so I've just got some noodles for a dollar. And then there's some like little patties over here that are three for a dollar, so grab some of them as well. Guys, this is your two Brunei dollar dinner. Uh, noodles and a couple of little patties. I'm gonna dig in. Guys, that's it for tonight. Back from the night market. Uh, really some decent food. Uh, really interesting to see the night market. Because it's Ramadan, it closes a lot earlier. It opens at three and it's closed by like seven o'clock because everyone can start eating at half six. So everyone eats and then that's kind of that. So um, it's not open as late as normal, but good food, good to see it. And today's been pretty epic. Um, 
getting on the boat a couple of times, going out to the little floating village, the uh, museum this morning. It's been a pretty cool day out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed Brunei. I'm leaving first thing tomorrow morning to head down to Malaysian Borneo, going to Miri at 7 a.m., so early night tonight. But in the meantime, give the video a thumbs up, let me know your comments, and until tomorrow, guys, peace out.